Hey guys, so for part eight, we're gonna show you how to code the Node.js server. You can download the files from GitHub using the link in the description. Once you've downloaded the zip folder, under the source folder, you will find the server.js file. At the beginning, we'll call the libraries we need. HTTP, because it's a web-based server, and Cylon, because it is a Cylon object that will interact with the GPIOs. Then the three variables below are the pins where you'll plug your RGBs. Here we use pins 14, 20, and 0. You can plug your LEDs differently, but you'll have to change those values here as well. So we create the HTTP server and we parse the requested page. So if we access the forward slash change page, it means we will change values. If we change the red color, we'll need to make sure it's between 0 and 255. We'll then create an object called Cylon Robot. We'll tell it that we're on an Intel Edison board on an LED and give it the pen that we defined earlier that's called red GPIO. Then we'll call a function that will control the LED's brightness between 0 and 255. After, we'll type start and apply this to the GPIOs. Same thing applies for the other colors with the blue and green perimeters. Otherwise, if we don't access the change page, this means we are using a web browser and we will load the index.html page. This page is composed of three sliders, one for each color. It works thanks to the socket.io, so we created another function that interacts with the socket.io in order to change the brightness of our LEDs. Apart from that, everything works exactly as I presented previously on the change page. Finally, at the end we'll launch the server using the port 8080. The regular port 80 is already used by the Intel Edison. So this code is an example of how you can code your own Node.js server. You are free to code your own. See you in the last part to see how the product works.